Hello everyone, I'm very excited to share a new development uh, with you today and that is the validation and demonstration of the electronic version of Sydney Swallow uh, questionnaire. And to uh, give you a bit of a background first, SSQ was initially developed because at that time there was a lack of truly objective, reliable and validated means of measuring overall symptom severity in patients uh, in, with oropharyngeal dysphagia. And at that time, the symptomatic outcome assessments for therapeutic interventions uh, were largely qualitative. So the SSQ contains 17 questions. The responses are marked on a 10 centimeter long visual an analog scale for 16 questions. And the possible uh, score range is from zero to 1700. And the questions address symptoms referring to a combination of three broad variables, the anatomic region, the type of dysfunction that occurs, and uh, swallowed bolus consistency. So the questionnaire was uh, developed over 20 years ago by Karen Wallace under the guidance of our mentor, Professor Ian Cook. And the validation uh, covered test retest reliability, as well as phase content and construct validity, validity. However, at that time, no upper limit of normal was established, as the tool was intended to measure symptomatic response to therapy, rather than detect uh, dysphagia. However, I felt that it would be useful to derive an upper limit of normal for the SSQ for screening purposes, and to know when patients swallow function returns to normality after therapy. So I derived the upper limit of normal for the SSQ uh, in 73 non-dysphagic individuals who have been screened for presence of swallowing problems or any disorders that might cause dysphagia. And the upper limit of normal came out to be uh, 234. And no age or gender differences were observed in that study. Now, over the years, SSQ has been translated and culturally adapted and most importantly validated for the following languages. And this made SSQ more available, uh, more accessible uh, globally. And work is ongoing for the, on the translation and validation into uh, these languages. Now, since the original validation, uh, SSQ has been used widely by us and other investigators worldwide. And here's an example of uh, a study from the original validation showing a reduction in SSQ after surgery for Zenker's diverticulum. In this recent study, we have shown an association between Parkinson's disease severity and dysphagia severity. Uh, here's uh, a study showing improvement in patient outcomes after a laser uh, myotomy of the cricopharyngeus. And uh, this is a randomized controlled trial of endoscopic dilatation for strictures after uh, chemo radiation for head and neck cancer. And we can see a significant reduction in dysphagia symptoms in the dilatation arm. And importantly, there's a lack of response uh, in the placebo arm. And lastly, here is outcome data from a very recent pilot study of a poem to the cricopharyngeus in patients with Parkinson's disease. Now, where we find SSQ very useful is in the longitudinal assessment of patients, and we routinely use it in our clinical practice to assess patients' progress and also to monitor for relapse of symptoms after therapy. And here's an example of a head and neck cancer patients, uh, patient undergoing a series of dilatations for a quite severe stricture. And you can see the SSQ progressively improves and eventually uh, returns to normality. And as you can see from the photo that he sent to us around Christmas, uh, it correlated very well with his uh, uh, perceived improvement in uh, swallow-related quality of life. So we embarked on the development of an electronic version of SSQ for two reasons. Firstly, during COVID epidemic, we realized it would be very useful to have an electronic version that we can uh, 
email to patients instead of uh, posting a paper copy backwards and forwards. Uh, secondly, I was really getting sick and tired of scoring hundreds of these questionnaires with a ruler and typing in the data. So SSQ was adapted for uh, the online RedCap platform and it could be completed on a computer or a mobile device and it consisted of a single page which was scrollable and the visual analog scale was replaced with a range slider. So firstly, paper and electronic versions were administered to, pay to 44 dysphagic patients in randomized order. Uh, and also same was performed in 32 aged match controls. Then in a subgroup of patients uh, who were not undergoing any intervention and who had a stable uh, symptoms, ESSQ was emailed uh, after 14 days to assess test retest reliability. And now the agreement found between paper and electronic uh, scores is visualized, visualized here as blend Altman plots, where the mean of the scores are on the x-axis and the difference between scores uh, on the y-axis. And you can see that the mean difference is around zero, meaning there's no consistent uh, bias uh, between paper and electronic versions. And the blue and red lines are limits of agreement, and this is two standard deviations of the difference. And both paper and test retest uh, uh, sort of uh, reliability were comparable. And keep in mind that we are zoomed in to the range of the data. If we look at the full extent of uh, SSQ range, uh, it does look much better. And statistically, uh, using intra-class correlation, there was excellent agreement uh, for all participants and patients only, as well as in the test uh, retest reliability. Uh, now, mean SSQ score between uh, in, in patients between paper and electronic versions uh, were almost identical and same in controls. And not surprisingly, there was a good separation between the patient and control uh, cohorts. Now our colleagues in Adelaide have performed an external validation in a different uh, cohort of patients and their results basically mimic ours and again uh, intra-class correlation is, is excellent. Just to summarize, so electronic uh, SSQ demonstrated excellent agreement, test retest reliability, and divergent validity. And this preliminary data presents exciting opportunities for the integration of the electronic SSQ and other sort of patient-oriented um, tools into routine patient care. And I hope it facilitates centralized collection and generation of large volume data and promotes uh, collaborative research. So I will just give you a short technological preview of ESSQ on Swallow Gateway. So once you get into Swallow Gateway, you can uh, enter SSQ into existing studies which have manometric, manometric data. Uh, there will be a link available to complete an SSQ and uh, there's a few options. Uh, you can complete it now, for example, with a patient in a clinic on a tablet or a computer. Or later, you can also print uh, a paper copy from that window or enter scores manually from a paper copy. And currently, there will be two uh, languages available, English and Chinese. However, we have capability of um, entering additional languages. However, if you're not capturing manometric data or you have a patient in the clinic and you want to capture SSQ before the manometry is performed, uh, uh, SSQ can be entered uh, without any manometry data. So let's go through the SSQ. So ah, let's go through the later option first. <clears throat> so we can click on later. We are presented with three options. We get a uh, individual link that we can email to patients, a QR code or an email can be entered and both the link and Q 
QR code will be emailed to the recipient. Now, if we click now, this is what the SSQ looks like. Again, visual analog scale is replaced with a range slider and it closely mimics the paper version. Uh, so we can enter all the questions. And there's an optional uh, box for text uh, feedback and additional questions just to, to record the device that the SSQ was uh, completed on. Now, results can be viewed uh, on the results tab. So alongside uh, manometric results, we can view the SSQ scores. So they both in table format uh, and shown as a graph and the data can be easily exported uh, into in an Excel file uh, ready for analysis. It's all there. And also one more thing, say for some reason patients have uh, completed a paper copy or you have some historical questionnaires that you want to add, uh, data can be entered manually and additional questionnaires can be added. And lastly, here's a mobile version and what it looks like so the qr code can be scanned with a phone takes you to a link and it presents a quite a user-friendly interface with big uh, buttons Okay, so that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and watch this space. Uh, hopefully it won't be long before SSQ is available on Swallow Gateway. Thank you.